Hi, welcome, Simon here. Hope you're doing well. This is a MacBook Air. As you can see that the screen is pixelated, fuzzy, and it's cracked. It needs to be replaced. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm gonna press and hold the power button until the computer shuts off. And again, if you're not planning to fix the computer and you just want to recover the data, what are your options? So what you can do is you can buy one of these USB adapter. This is a USB-C to a VGA. Depending on what monitor that you have, if you have a TV, you should buy HDMI. But if you have an old monitor that runs on a VGA, get a USB-C to a VGA, plug it in on the side of the computer and then hook it up to your monitor and that way you should be able to see a, a, a nice display on the monitor and this is, a, this is a little trick for you so you know how that the screen can be extended like meaning that you have one screen here and your monitor on the, on the other side that you can't see exact same screen to have the same mirror screen on a MacBook on an Apple computer you can press command F1 hold the command and press F1. So hold the command and F1 and that way you can see both of the monitor screen uh, side by side. Oh, I just realized that the, uh, the keyboard is sticky. Well, I wasn't being alert from a customer that says the keyboard is sticky. But anyway, the keyboard is sticky. I just found out. All right, so let's go ahead and turn off the computer, press and hold the power button. We're gonna jump right into the screen replacement. Identify the model here, take a look at it. It's A2337. This is a Rose Go model. Pentalo P5, this is a five little pointer. I'm gonna remove the screws, remove the bracket, the back cover. I'm going to get right into the internal part of the computer so what I suggest to do you know that the screws are not in the same size they're all in different sizes okay what you can do is take a picture of the uh, the computer right like take a picture of it and then print it out as you remove the screws, you want to put the screws on top of the piece of paper as a reference where the screw comes from so that later on when you put them back together, it is a lot easier. You're not going to make mismatch the screw, but it sometimes can be a problem. All right, once you have removed all the screws, you saw what I did. I used my fingernail tuck underneath that back cover and just pop it right up. And that thing would just pop right off, okay? All right, next step, we need to disconnect the battery. Let's zoom in a little bit. This is the internal part of the computer. Here you can see that little clicker. That little clipper is pretty, pretty much securing the, um, it's hard for you guys to see it. So that little clicker, I just flip it open. So it's all the way down. All you have to do is just I use my fingernail to do it. Flip it up, and once it's up, you can just pull the connector straight up. That way, we just disconnect the uh, um, the battery. First thing, must to do, disconnect the battery. All right, next, I'm using a T3, Torque T3. Gonna remove this screw here. Okay, that is for your Wi-Fi remove the bracket get a plastic prying to go underneath that cable and lift it straight up okay i'll be using a t5 torque t5 remove the screw Um, I believe this might be a T4 screw, but I'd be still using a T5. Uh, but be very careful when you do it. 
I mean if the T4 doesn't fit use T5 okay I'm using T5 some of the reason because my screw has been used for many times so that the screw on the on the front might have worn out in other words T4 T5 it seems like it works for me on both sides so for you might be different okay so I'll be using a T3 now remove this tiny screw two of them that two screw right there is to holding down the bracket for your LCD connector and here use a plastic prying tool to pry it open they're kind of like Lego all right, just snip right onto it. To remove it, you're just gonna pry it open. And now you can see that the LCD uh, board cable is, is, is free and the Wi-Fi antenna should be free as well. Now you might have to wiggle a little bit to get the, uh, so you see how I push that flex cable all the way down because that flex cable here, do not want to get caught while you're removing the Wi-Fi uh, this Wi-Fi antenna cable right here so it's kind of adhesive little glue holding it down so I'm using my plastic prying to to kind of wiggle a little bit give me some room give me some leverage to soften that adhesive the tape so that we can remove the Wi-Fi antenna Okay, no pressure just come back and wiggle a couple times until you have a good sense of uh, grip and you can see that this black tape right here is holding down the Wi-Fi antenna I'm just going to kind of pull it right out of it okay as you can see I'm very gentle pulling it off and that part right here underneath that is also a tape that is taping down the Wi-Fi antenna okay so just gently lift it up and that's how I remove it all right so once you have removed the Wi-Fi antenna get a T8 screwdriver that's a torque T8 remove that three screws which is holding down the LCD screen that is the hinge of that okay we're gonna come back and do the same on this side of the uh, the hinge okay once you're done with that process let's go ahead and opening up the computer and slide the hinge out of the base sorry if I didn't show that to you so to, to, to slide it off you just have to wiggle a little bit and slide it off on both sides okay once the thing is off the whole screen is off put the old screen on the side and here comes the new screen making sure the hinge is pushed all the way to the back and I would like to take this opportunity to um, kind of tell you where to buy the screen from if you're not sure where to buy the replacement screen please check the link down description below I'll link it directly to either Amazon or eBay where you can click on the link and it will directly um, get you the right screen the model of A2337 this is the rose gold if you have the black I mean the, the gray or the silver you might want to find the selection just want to stress it out again one more time check the link down in the description below direct you to either Amazon or eBay for this uh, screen replacement all right making sure that the LCD um, board is sitting on top of the mother uh, on top of your laptop here okay do not go like this that's not how I want it go on top of it okay while you're on top of that make sure that the hinge is open 
earlier and slide it in and slide it in okay once it's in you can feel like the screen is you know is in there but what we want to do is put a screw to hold the hinge down double check making sure that the LCD cable is is not uh, pinched down or clip whatever it has to be free and loose now is to put the screw here T8 put one screw in and one screw in on the other side of the the screen okay so that now I can close the screen when you're closing it double check making sure that the flex cable is sitting on top okay come back and finish the rest of other screws you want to make sure that the all three screws are back in it on the top right corner and then these three screws here on the other side Okay, once you have done with that process, the next step is to slide a Wi-Fi antenna in between the LCD cable right there. So slide it in, okay? And I'm making sure that the uh, the cable is is not pressed down or anything. It has to be free on, on top of it. And here at this point, what you want to do is to make sure that the Wi-Fi antenna can go right back in the middle. You can press it a little bit. It might, you know, uh, stick it in back together. But the ideal is to get them in a position back right in the center. And then flip this little LCD board back right in the middle like such while I'm holding it. I have my T5, I have two of the dark screw, the black screw, and I'm going to put it back together. Okay, there's one there. There's one on this side. All right, and then while I'm still holding down the Wi-Fi antenna, I have that screw goes on to the far light, far right. This one here is right in the middle. If you're still watching the video and following along, uh, what I'd like you to do is smash the like button for me. I really appreciate you for doing that. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. Take this moment to just you know like the video if you have any question comment down below i do reach a comment and i will answer you through the comments again this is like lego you need to make sure that you snap back on uh, do not force it in okay the connector is not supposed to be forced in or anything you don't want to put a lot of pressure to push it in what you want to do is make sure it aligns properly and then when you press it in you can feel like the lego would just binds back together okay have the bracket to go back on top of the cable and the two screws to, to secure that bracket here comes the wi-fi antenna be patient when you install the wi-fi antenna the two circles has to be on top of each other okay so the connector is round and then the bottom is go on top like that so if you uh, misalign the circle don't push it in again never force 
things to go in together they're supposed to go in very easily you just have to align them properly okay so once that is done do not forget the bracket have the tiny little screw going back on top of it using a T3 okay once that thing is done now this is the clipper making sure that the clipper is open not closed open reconnect the battery again they're just like lego they snap right back on top of it you need to kind of slide it in first not just to push it in you need to okay you need to kind of like push in this way and then close it okay push it in this way and then and then close it down so slide it in like such slide it in first slide it down towards you first okay slide it down and then push it in once it's in then you flip that little metal bracket to lock it all right done press in the middle for the little clicker to click back in and have all the screw to go back in the right place I'm using a Pentolo P5 And since you stay all the way to the end of the video what I suggest you to do is to get an adapter the USB-C adapter for the laptop and plug it in before you turn it on the reason why I ask you to do that is because when we disconnect the battery after X amount of time the computer doesn't like to turn on all right so if you plug the charger that way it helps the computer to charge up a little bit and it's easier to turn on right now when i open up the screen the computer doesn't turn on i press the power button the computer doesn't turn on sometimes it does but it takes a longer time but if you have the charger plug it in you should be able to turn it right back on without any problem okay i wonder if you're going to turn it on for me i just press the power button and uh we'll see let me go grab the charger as well and uh, do I have a USB? No, I don't. I don't have it with me at this, within the reach. So anyway, I'll go ahead and turn it on after and hope this video is helpful. And if you do find this video is helpful, um, all I'm asking is to, um, you know, click on YouTube Super Thanks. YouTube Super Thanks allow you to share um, your gratitude and that support my work and my channel. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye now.